Well, when you think about last minute Christmas shopping, you're probably picturing your local Target or Lord and Taylor. But according to my next guest, the real rush is at the grocery store, and cheap gasoline is changing what people are buying. Stu Leonard Jr. is with us. He's the CEO of Stu Leonard's uh, right now, and he brought some <laughs> treats as well on the set. Stu, good hey, to see you. Hey, we had to feed you before uh, Christmas. Thank you so much for joining us and, <laughs> yeah, and for uh, talking about this. So let, let me ask you: You've got something like this huge tenderloin, and yeah. that and that tenderloin. Yeah. Is this what people are buying for the holidays? Well, when you talk about trends and what people are buying, it, it trickles down to how much they have in their wallet sure. or their purse. So with lower gas prices, you definitely see in the store now, we have, we'll have 200,000 customers this week. So when you look, this is a, a tenderloin you can get. It's about 70 or $80 right there. And our butchers will cut it for you right in the butcher shop. Or you can get this, all done, which is over $100. Wow. Sprig of rosemary. It's already trimmed. All you do is put it in the oven. That's it. Here's what we notice. When, when people have a little more money, they tend to just come over and buy this. It's the same thing you can do with potatoes. You can take and, and mash these potatoes up yourself, right. peel them, cut them, butter, you know, right. cream. But when you have a couple extra dollars in your pocket, I'll just buy the mash. I'll just buy them all mash. Your chefs do this. This is probably $3 a pound more than you'd pay for this. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we start noticing sense. these trends. And also in the wine business, oh, this is, this, we, we have these great coffee. Fox News coffee. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Marie Bartiromo blend. Look at that. Yeah. I like that. Marie That's Bartiromo. a hot seller at the store right there. <laughs> but also, you know what we notice with wine, too, is like here's a $10 bottle of a real $10, nice, that's it? $10. Wow. And that's what rocks right now in the wine business. People really are looking for those 10 to $15 bottles. In the economy like it is now, we look and say, how many bottles are people buying under $20 versus, like, here's a beautiful wine from the Marianis right out in Long Island, the, the Bamfi family. Here's a beautiful Brunello over $20. Right. That's so that's more than 20 That's 10 But, I mean, is there a big difference in the taste? Well, yeah, if you're getting okay. it to wine, and also if you're going to give it as a gift. Right. You don't want to give a $10, you'd rather give something. Exactly. But so what we'll do, lower gas prices, what we find over $20 bottles, more mashed potatoes, and also the cut tenderloin. I ready say. To go. So they are spending money. People are They're spending selective. money. And I find it interesting, Stuart, that you've built this institution in, in the Northeast, and congratulations on your success. And you talk about the markets, and so you're watching how people are spending. Have you ever talked about tapping the markets, going public, and fueling <laughs> expansion nationwide? Yeah, well, family business, that would be, that would be a you big You know what deal. the question really, and obviously from a financial standpoint, you'd like to do it, but we're a family business. I have my two nephews and my daughter here today. I no, I see that. That's great. And I'm glad you brought the You know, family. we're not, we have our four stores around New York. We're opening a fifth one out in Long Island uh, next month in Where? Farmingdale. Farmingdale, okay. Right nice. near the airport. Real excited about Good it. Good idea, yeah. But it's going to be almost a family event. Everybody's going to be there. So going public, I think, would put a lot of pressure on, on us financially performing. And I know you have a lot of right. financial guys. I'm having fun every day. I'm here you, today. You don't, you don't you. want that. Well, why, why would you? I mean, you, yeah. you, don't, you don't need it well, with family. So. Yeah, so anyway, the financial markets, maybe someday the next generations will do it, but right now we'd rather stay private. You definitely track how the econ or you see how the economy affects your business day to day or month to month. I mean, that, it's yeah. very interesting. Well, I've just been in the stores. I mean, this is busy week of the year, busiest of the, of the year. And so just talking to customers, you just get a feel for what people How are buying. How are they feeling, Stu? I think there's an uptick. I think they feel good right now, but then you had the warm weather. Right. So that added a thing. I talked to some people in the clothing business, you know, and they're, they're struggling with the winter coats. And, sure. And, mm. that, those and, are the big ticket items. Because it's so warm. Do you see any pressure on wages? Do you feel that things are getting tighter, that you feel the pressure to raise wages? Because there's this movement <clears throat> across the country, yeah, obviously, right. about $15 minimum wage. Yeah. Well, there is. I mean, we're, we're, we've raised all our wages now at Stu's. You do, you do. And so, you know, starting wage, $10 an hour, mm -hmm. you know, at the store. So... You do feel the pressure of that. You also feel health care pressure right now, exactly. which is very expensive. And we have to be very selective on full-time versus part-time. We have over 2,000 people. And to bring somebody in full-time now, you're really strapped as far as benefits go. Because you've got to provide benefits, otherwise you pay a fine. And we provide great benefits at the store, but to, if, if the person doesn't work out, you're, you're stuck with paying 
benefits for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's costly. You really have to think about it more before you hire somebody. Right. Yeah, really, really good stuff. Stu, thanks so much for joining us. We love being here. My love wife loves you. watching you Thank every you. single day. Thank and, you so much, and, Stu. And uh, have a great holiday. Uh, Merry Christmas. Thank Happy you. holidays to you. Have a wonderful 2016. Thank you. Happy New Year. Stu Leonard, Jr. there.